Hello, you martial artists, martial artists, heart martial artists, the Patel, all you cross dressing Amish soccer moms. That's say Matthews again. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about the, my upcoming book. Sensei Bob Matthews, where did you get the simply marvelous idea for a martial arts bathroom book? I mean, a tome written specifically for use in the loo. Brilliant. Simply inspired. Brilliant indeed. Years ago, I was a regular columnist for a now defunct martial arts publication called The Tiger's Eye. During the time I was writing my column, I used to get comments like this all the time from martial artists. I knew the latest issue of Tiger's Eye was here because I could hear my wife laughing in the bathroom. <laughs> my wife was laughing in the bathroom. I knew my wife was reading your latest column because I could hear laughter from the bathroom. I could hear laughter coming from the bathroom. There was laughter coming from our bathroom. Laughing in the bathroom. Laughing in the bathroom. Laughing in the bathroom. Laughing in the bathroom. And I thought to myself, laughter in the bathroom. I think it's a noble cause. Think how much sweeter life would be if your bathroom was joyful instead of just smelly with cold porcelain fixtures. Laughter in the bathroom. And that's sort of become my catchphrase, my guiding principle, my war cry. Laughter in the bathroom. Laughter in the bathroom. Laughter, 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 laughter in the bathroom. First I thought, you know, laughter in the crapper. That doesn't sound quite as literary. Would have made a good platform for Truman. Chicken in every pot. Car in every garage. Laughter in every bathroom. Maybe I could sell that to our next presidential candidate, whomever that's going to be. Just think what a great place this world would be if there was laughter in every bathroom. I mean, face it, when was the last time you had a hearty laugh while taking a hearty break? Ha ha ha! Laughter in your bathroom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! <laughs> so, till next time, don't eat Mexican food to stand next to a fire. Don't eat Japanese food at all. Always seek peace. And that's all, folks. Bye.